सो फाइनली पीसीसी आ चुकी है इंडिया से अब हम बात करते हैं अपनी वीडियो में क्या टाइमलाइन थी और क्या पूरा प्रोसेस था सो एज ए स्टेप वन यू हैव टू सर्च बी एल एस टोरोंटो एज आई मीन टोरोंटो दैट्स वाई एम सर्चिंग बी एल एस टोरोंटो इफ यू आर इन ओटवा और एनी अदर जो रिडिक्शन यू हैव टू सर्च एज पर दैट so you will find this blsindiacanada.com website so enter this website and then you have to go to passport services we are applying for police clearance certificate so select that service in step 1 we will fill the forms go to this link can as we are indian passport holder so we have to select this we are applying from canada so click canada if you are applying it for first time you have to register on this website if you already have your username and password you can go to user login for us it's first time so we have to select register then our embassy currently we are in canada toronto so we have to select canada toronto then we have to select our name our surname our date of birth for your information i have already filled my application i am showing you this second time so that uh, you can fill your application without any issue so if you want your email id as your login id so it's best if you will select yes so that you don't have to remember a separate login id password just give any password which you can remember and hint question so it is also very important in case you forget your password or login id it will help you and once you enter all those details you have to just register on this website so once you will register on this website as second step you have to again come to this website and you have to this time you have to select user login now i am entering my original login id and my password once you will land on this page we have to select this apply for police clearance certificate now here what is purpose of pcc in my case i am on work permit and i am applying for my pr so i have to select immigration purpose other than citizenship next region country for which pcc is required in our case we are applying it from canada so we have to select canada you have to enter your passport number just give all those details and date of issue and date of expiry and place of issue this file number you will find on last page of your passport number so you have to enter that select next here you have to give all your details place of birth select all those details in my case i am married so i am selecting marital status as married you can select as per your status so i have citizenship of india by birth so i am selecting as birth you have to enter pan card voter card if available if not available that's fine you you can enter your aadhar card i am working as a 
software engineer so i have to select as private and my education qualification is graduation so i am selecting graduate and above aadhar number enter your aadhar number and you have to just agree whatever they have they are taking your consent basically so now you have to give your family details if you have any legal guardian give their name if you don't have guardian then leave it so if you have selected as married it's mandatory to give your spouse name so i have selected my spouse name now you have to give your address in india so i am entering my address you can address your address your uh, address state ut is delhi for me and this district is dwarka just select whatever is your and enter phone number so here you have to give a mobile number which is active in my case i gave mobile number of my father so you can give mobile number of your family members who can pick pick the call and confirm your details if anyone uh, calls them to verify your details so here i gave my personal email id so you can give your and your present address in country of domicile so currently we are living in canada so you have to give canada address mobile number here we can give our canada number it next so once those details are done here it is asking if there is any criminal case on your name in india in my case it's no but you can select as per your status but i hope uh, your answer will be no for all the questions so just double check all your details because these details will be printed on your pcc so once you will do this it will give you pcc form summary so just double verify it and you have to just agree and keep place currently i am in toronto so i am giving toronto and once you will submit it there will be a form like this so the main thing is your application reference number that you will get here so make sure to take print out of this application form and you have to paste your unsigned photograph so photograph size is 2 inch by 2 inch and you have to sign in this box now let's jump on to what are all the documents we require this is the checklist this is the application form this is the passport copy this is canada address proof and finally this is the status in canada these are all the documents so you have to come here so the first document is this checklist so you make sure you have print out of this checklist and second document is your online application form which we filled in step 1 the third document is indian passport original and copy but this original and copy is only for in person 
if you are going in person and submitting your PCC, then only you ha you have to give your passport. For postal applications, you have to only submit a photocopy of your passport. The next document is proof of address in Canada. In my case, I gave driving license, but if you don't have driving license, you can give your phone bill or internet bill. The next document is your status in Canada. For me, it's work permit, so I gave my work permit photocopy. You can give your as per your status, like your work study permit or your whatever PR visa, whatever visa you have. The next is photograph. So this photograph specification you can find it here 2 inch by 2 inch or 51 mm into 51 mm this photograph you have to paste on the application form and the last thing is fees so let me show you what's the fees so fees is 41 dollar 40 cent so for postal applications you have to take a dd of 41 dollar 40 cent and one thing you have to make sure about your DD is so the owner name or applicant name, whatever name is there on the demand draft, make sure it's your name. So once you have all these details, so next step is you have to submit your PCC. So let's jump on to next step. I will show you how you have to raise a request to pro letter so that you can submit your postal application so type BLS Toronto and once you will go to this website you will find this link to book your pickup drop off of application please visit so select this and here you will see three different services pick up and drop off pick up or drop off for my case is fresh application so i selected pick up and drop off service so number of applicant one service service is passport and first name of your postal code for mine it's m so it will automatically detect in which jurisdiction you are currently so it is showing me you lie in toronto jurisdiction and I need to send my document to Brampton BLS Center. So now you have to enter your pickup address. So enter your details. Your email ID. Apartment number. Postal code, package location. So we will give this package from our apartment. So we have selected front door. Pickup date. It will show you what are all pickup dates available. So you can select as per your ease and pickup time. You can select either you want to send your application in morning or in afternoon. Province. For us, it's Ontario. And now drop off address. Drop off address would also be same address as your pickup address. Because once your PCC is ready, you want that PCC on the same address, right? So services police clearance for Indian passport holder. And name, same, whatever you have filled on in first section. Your email address. Your contact number. Enter all these details. Postal address, your province. And now it will give you option of two services. One is photograph. We already have photographs, so we don't require it. And the next service is ready to the SMS service or something like that. 
but uh, we don't need this service. So if you need, you can select it. But in my case, I didn't select it. So now you have to proceed next. So you will find their fees, pickup fees, drop off fees, and their convenience fees or total. So you have to just pay this fees. So as soon as you pay this fees, they will send you one receipt of your payment, or uh, you can say a slip with for which you have to take a printout. That receipt you have to paste on your envelope. You don't have to purchase any envelope because when for a letter will come to pick your application, they will give you a secure envelope and you have to just. You have to just put your documents into that envelope and paste the sticker on that envelope. So this was the whole process.